So, <clears throat> I'm going to read this to you. I'm sorry, but it's been three years that I've had the opportunity to read it. Um, I think it's important rather than me recapping uh, every game and situation, I think this kind of puts everything into character uh, for what uh, we want our program to be and what it has been. So I have this in the little handout that I've given uh, to the table, but it says, tradition never graduates. What does tradition never graduates really mean to us? For us, winning is not a new hope or goal each year. It is a consistent habit that begins during the off season and during the summer. Underclassmen need to understand that the building blocks that continue the success of this program are the following. Number one, character. Number two, talent. Number three, attitude slash effort. Number four, passion. Number five, work ethic slash grit. As we look back on the last seven years, teams and players, we all need to figure out what made us successful as well as figure out what we can do better. This includes the players and the coaches. We need to model ourselves and develop a work ethic and a mindset that this is what we do and how we do it over and over again, which gives us the best opportunity to continue our tradition. Those players that are willing to put forth the work in the summer to improve themselves have the best chance to compete for playing time in the winter. AAU and open gyms are only two pieces of that puzzle. All players must work on self-improvement skills. Dribbling, pivoting, passing, footwork, and most of all, shooting thousands of jump shots are a critical part of the process. There are no shortcuts to success. At some point, our underclassmen will be upperclassmen. That is a natural part of the process. I want our team to always dream big and not be afraid of greatness. And I don't have this in there, but we purposely put you in situations where you are going to have to battle. You will be battle tested. Not, not a lot of other teams do that. So when Coach McFadden says, tonight is a sweaty palms game, that means that we're nervous too because we put you in a situation where we know that we may not succeed all the time. But we do, most often, because we place you in those situations. Coach McFadden's the keeper of this. I'm not saying this to brag, all right? He's the one that lets me know all these things. We are our program, 170 wins and 22 losses in seven years. That is incredible. Give yourself a <laughs> While some wonderful things happen when you work hard, like the things we are here celebrating this afternoon, obviously there's no guarantee that success always happens. We have played in six straight, and we've been here seven years. We didn't have a sectional final last year because of COVID. But we played in six straight South Jersey Group 4 championship games. Let that sink in. Winning three of them, half of them. Statistically, it's harder to get into, a, into six straight sectional finals than it is to win one. While we can be disappointed in three of those outcomes, it can either breed excuses or alibis, or we can choose it to fuel us. What is guaranteed is our ability to do what we can to become better. And maybe, just maybe, we can experience things like we did this past season. And then maybe taking the next step, not only getting to the Group 4 State Championship game, but winning one, okay? This afternoon, as we celebrate our awesome season, let's remember the things we did during the process that helped us get here, but realize that the players and the coaches that do the same thing and expect a different result are fooling themselves. I am hopeful that our team will be hungry to prove themselves again next year. This afternoon, I'm so very proud of this past team, our coaching staff, and our program, and I hope everybody is too. Congratulations.